Oh man, you know, no matter how hard I try to get the Aztec sorted, we're always going to have an endless list of things that need to be repaired on the Aztec. So, this time, it's a defect in one of the parts that I already bought. I just get to change it out yet again. But uh, hopefully, this shouldn't be too bad. Let's go outside, I'll show you exactly what's going on. Sorry guys, welcome to this <laughs> this installment of Mike's Vehicle Vlogs. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today. So let me give you guys a rundown on what's going on with the tech this time. This is actually an issue that I have brought up to you guys in previous videos. Um, and uh, we're finally going to be able to do something about it. Yes, yeah, so this is a familiar site. You guys have seen all this before. The one thing that I am talking about in today's video is this transmission line right here. This is the transmission cooler line. This is the high pressure line. Goes into the side, this side of the radiator over here via fitting which is still in there. And then it cools the transmission fluid off. And then down below there's another line right there coming out of the transmission. And it circulates back, or not the transmission, the radiator. And it circulates back into the transmission where it comes back out of this line and you guys get the idea. So ever since this car has been put back together and running, you know, I put some transmission fluid in it back in October and uh, one of the first things that I noticed badly was that the transmission fluid was just spewing out of this out of this line right here. So originally I thought maybe it was a bad fitting uh, which is still in the old radiator so when we replaced the radiator we got two new fittings that came with it and sure enough this line was still leaking and I couldn't figure out why. I thought maybe the line wasn't seating right so I would kind of carefully pry the line back to try to get it straight like maybe it didn't go in right um, but it, and that seems to be okay but it's still leaking and obviously I can't have this transmission line leaking uh, that's not good so what I did do is uh, a few days ago I put some of this plumbers tape at the very end of it just to see if maybe it'll stop the leak and then I started the car up and I let it run for a little while and it held off for some time but then I noticed it started seeping again so uh, uh, finally I decided to just take the line off and maybe take a look to see maybe what's going on and uh, let me see if I can prop there we go sure enough after looking at the end of the line here for quite some time I have noticed if we take a look here, it actually looks like it wasn't cut right or something. It looks like it's actually like it's not perfectly straight on the end there. It's not straight, so it just looks like it was a defective line from the start. Um, needless to say, the line's got to be replaced again. Now the nice thing in all of this is, I guess I called the parts store and all of these lines that I bought, which from this parts store I bought both of these transmission lines. I did buy the other power steering lines from them, but I ended up replacing one of those with an AC Delco line. Actually, I ended up replacing two of those with AC Delco lines because um, they weren't fitting right at all. Um, but anyway. So anyway, these have a lifetime warranty is what I found out. They are going to warranty these. And, um, you know, it's getting late already. I mean, what time is it? I mean, we're already, we're about halfway through September. So we're losing daylight rather quickly. It's it's only after 7 o'clock. It's 7.06. And uh, it's starting to get dark already. Um, so anyway, what I'm going to do now is we're going to get the car back off the ground 
and uh, I guess I have to take this line back out. <laughs> now, I don't remember where it went to under the car, which line it was, so um, obviously I got it loose up here. I'll have to fish around. I might end up pulling the bottom one off too because I don't like how I routed those. It's I couldn't remember how they were routed, but I noticed I did that. I probably should have them going in front of that, not behind it. So I think I might end up pulling that one from the bottom and maybe trying to see if I can route it around. Um, I'm pretty sure this might have been the one that goes on the bottom half of the transmission. There's one that goes in sideways and there's one that kind of goes in from the bottom. and uh, I can't remember which one it was. Well, so, in bringing the car off the ground, obviously, the fluid started leaking out, so we're going to need the basin, but we're going to need it, obviously, where the line is coming out. Well, let me take some stuff out of my pocket here, <laughs> so I can lay down on the ground. Alright, let's see what we got going on down here, so... So there's our two lines. Now, oh, and I put that little hose clamp thing on there too. I can get rid of this, maybe. I don't know. See, because these lines wouldn't bend up to where this little bolt is. That that holds this. It's supposed to hold that on, but I don't know if it's because of how I ran the lines particularly, or if it's because they are aftermarket lines and they're not 100% fitting. So I don't know. I don't remember. You can see we didn't do our radiator uh, braces yet, so hopefully this radiator doesn't come down on top of me. Okay, so here's the line that's unplugged right here. It is running this AC lines in the way. I think it's going to this top one, if I'm not mistaken. I'll try to get my other hand back here. That one? Yeah, so it's that one. That one spot, can't tell. Okay, so the bottom one is. Which one? I think it's the one that's the top routed line. Let me get my, uh, my flathead, we'll loosen this little clamp up that I put on here. Then we can wiggle the lines easier. I wasn't planning on getting dirty tonight, but my wife is closing at work. I haven't even had dinner yet, but I don't know, I really didn't have anything to do, so I thought, hey, I'm gonna use this instead. Um, I just figured, hey, let me, let me go outside and maybe I'll just see if I can figure out what's going on with that transmission line. And sure enough, that's what I found out. I remember when I bought these, I couldn't remember what size I, what they were on the end. I grabbed an 8, and what's on here? A 7. I think it's one of them, too. I think. I should have grabbed the flathead just in case. <laughs> oh, well. It's the 8. I didn't even need the ratchet. <laughs> okay, so. Okay. Okay, so there's that. And then there's the original one. We'll slide that one off since it's not really necessary at the moment. Okay, so now, while I'm under here, I should try to get this to go back up there at some point. Okay. Not that one. So this one right here. All right, so that is this one. Oh, yeah, that was easier. <laughs> Do it that way. And this one is the one that goes uh, on the side. And that's the one that was a pain in the butt for me. I'm trying to get that clip on. Those little C-clips. Oh, man. All right, so now we're going to have to get the 
a drain pan for my transmission fluid. I don't know how much of this is going to leak out, but uh, it's all the way over there. So we'll grab it and put it over here. Hopefully I left enough room with this thing. Yeah, should be, shouldn't be that bad. Okay, amazingly enough, I actually got that off pretty easily first try without mangling it. We'll shove that here so we know where it's at. And then I just gotta wiggle it out and I don't know if that's gonna make it there or not, it might. Oh, just on the edge of it, huh? I don't know how much fluid is going to come out of there. There didn't seem to be a whole lot in the line, so it's probably just going to drip. Alright, and it's falling through, I think. There we go. It's going in the bucket. <laughs> When I did this, I had a lot more stuff torn apart because the engine was still in pieces. So, I'm going to have to go up on top and maybe assist it. Or maybe I could have pulled it up from the top. It's right there. Try to push it downwards. Huh? I can't reach it from up here, can I? No, it's too far down now. Alright, let's see if we can. It's on the brace. Sheesh. Yeah, well, the other one wasn't this difficult, but. Oh, there we go. So not, not too bad, but you can see it's just not perfectly straight at the end. And yeah, it got a little mangled, of course, but... <laughs> Alright, so chances are that uh, new one's not going on tonight, because by the time I get back with it, it's probably going to be dark. So I don't know how long she's going to be sitting here with a, with a transmission uh, line. Before I go, I should try to reroute that other one. Yeah, because I don't like that. I don't think the original lines came off like that. I don't remember. That was so long ago. Um, so... But it just looks like it's kinking, it's pulling, and I don't know, I could just see something blowing up because of that. So maybe I'll try to get them in front of that. I don't know if I'm going to have to, I'm probably going to have to actually pull it off from the transmission side, maybe. Maybe I'll try and do that real quick, and then uh, we'll get to the parts store. i got time, they close at 10, so we'll... Uh, I'll check back with you guys in a bit. Alright, this is interesting. So I took the other line off and I fished it out from under this. But now, it doesn't want to go back up into the transmission. It's like cro crooked and the uh, it doesn't even want to go close to where it should be snapping into. Well, so it's almost like, yeah, it had to go behind that it is very weird so maybe I had it right or maybe these lines aren't because yeah, if it goes into that it's all it's crooked so I can't I can't push it in there so it's like now I, I kind of have to go back around around that again and uh, get it lined up because I don't know it seemed to fit easier that way but, I don't know. Also, the entire cooler drained out completely 
forgot about that aspect of it. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I'm, I think I'm gonna fish it back to the way it was, and hook it back up, and uh, just leave it alone. I guess it seemed to it seemed to fit better that way. Actually, I think I figured out where I might have gone wrong with that one after all. I think I only had it between one of these, so I stuck it between both of these, and it brings it closer to the transmission, actually. It clipped in here, and it's in place, and the, uh, um, the little tab is already in there. The, oh, I just realized the ring fell off. It flew over there. Oh, well. Yeah. I don't think the tab's going to come loose, the little pin or clip, but hopefully that's in. <sighs> hopefully. <laughs> anyway, it looks like I can actually, um, that other piece, yeah, once I get the other line, that might actually hold these properly. We'll see. If not, it's back to the hose clamp. Alright, so that one's done. Let's go to the parts store since I have nothing else to do. guys we got our new line our warranty replaced line and of course you know by now it's dark the next portion of the video you guys see is going to be us putting this line back in and of course testing it out to see if it is indeed better than the last one it looked good I took a closer look at this one and I didn't see the that it looked like it was cut weird or anything it looks like it was cut cut evenly so who knows what happened I'll see you guys in the next portion of this vid Hi right, guys, I'm back. Uh, it's the following day. Just got off of work a little bit ago. It's supposed to storm soon. So I think I was able to do this just in time. So we got the new line on. Again. I'll show you guys what we did. So uh, here they are. This is the new line here. It's running up. These aren't really any closer to the transmission. I mean, I don't know what I did or what's supposed to be to get these to get into that bra bracket there, but I don't know. I'm probably just going to end up using that little hose clamp again. But they're in, so snapped in. Got the plastic covers over them. I took this one, this line back off to get the plastic piece up on it. Also, while I was under here, I noticed something that I'm actually really sad about. And that's the fact that this new transmission gasket is leaking. When we did the, uh, the transmission fluid filter change, um, it came with this little flimsy paper gasket, and uh, I don't think it's holding up too well. So I noticed uh, when I got back under here, it was a drip on the concrete and you know feeling around feeling around and as you can see we we are leaking fluid from somewhere now I don't know if it's necessarily this uh, I also don't know if it's this gasket that's leaking or if the transmission may have been overfilled if I overfilled it because the car is leaning so maybe all the fluid is coming out of somewhere, you know, around the transmission area. Because when it was on level ground, I didn't see any leaking at all. But with it elevated, 
or it could also be where the failure point of this new gasket is but if we have to pull the pan off again then so be it most of this oily stuff was on this engine already but the transmission obviously we could see it. there's some fresh leaking going on somewhere so it seems anyway kind of blummed out by that oh well we'll worry about that so anyway so we got the bottom obviously all situated up on the top it is in place I didn't put the plastic thing on it yet because I want to see how it acts so that's it so uh, what I'm gonna do now is uh, with it sitting up like this for a little while we're gonna jump it get it started get the fluid pumping through hopefully we don't see any leaks I will be very sad if we do have any leaks also the car hasn't been started in uh, uh, it's it's been well over a week at this point, so she needs to run. Whenever it was that I moved it, oil's still full. Let's see the transmission. I don't know. Look at that dipstick. It is it is at the full mark, and I know it's not running or anything like that. So I don't know. Something tells me maybe there's too much fluid in the transmission. I don't know. Let's get the jumper cables on it. There we go. We're not getting good contact. Okay. So that's one bad thing about these cables they don't pull or they kind of pull weird because of the uh see that just came off what no contact or am i not getting good contact What? Hmm. Okay, I think I got it. Might have a short one of my cables. All right, let me get those off real quick. All right. dry up here I mean there's a little bit left over from what was uh, leaking before but I don't feel like anything is freshly dripping down below uh, I don't think the uh, return line was an issue and over here There's some that, that kind of crept into there, but that's, you know, but nothing's spewing out, so that's, that's good. Oh, they start to get warm quick. I don't see anything dripping over there either, so. Alright, I think it's safe to put the car back on the ground, and, uh. Hopefully that'll be the end of that one. I'm going to let it run for a little while. I want to get it back on level ground because it's kind of low on gas and I don't know which way the uh, float's going to, you know, go empty or low. Getting kind of warm. Nothing. I guess I can push that clip on there. Maybe. Or 
not. Well, it's, it's there if I need it. <laughs> Alright. Let's see if we still have gears real quick. Smooth, smooth. Drive. I felt it. Okay. Good. Reverse. Seems to be, uh, reverse seems to be a lot smoother than it was. Drive. Alright. Gotta take the brick. Both rear tires are going low. In fact, this one's going real low. This one was low for a while. I think that's it. So hopefully that's the end of that saga. <laughs> I'd rather not replace something twice in a row, like two times, but if it's a manufacturer defect, then you have no choice and you don't have to pay for it. It's under warranty. We're still good. Uh, we'll check down here real quick. Anything cooling? It looks good. I don't see anything else dripping either. We'll get back to that again uh, at a later time. I think my brake fluid's still a little low. But that's it. Still a little shaky. Only because of the gasoline issue. Still can't believe how good it runs though for uh, all the crap that it's been through all the crap that was in it. That's it guys, I think we're good. I think we're good here. So, uh, I know I already made the video about how to really change these lines out when I did them originally. So, I mean, this was may have seemed kind of redundant, but, you know, this is, uh, this vlog series is documenting the progress of the tech. That's kind of been one of my things, you know. So I only made this video to really show you guys what was going on, keep you guys informed, and that's really it. So the wife is hungry and so am I. That's why she's standing there. She's waiting for me. You hungry? Uh-huh. She's hungry. So am I. So I'm going to go get cleaned up and I'm going to call it a day. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Check out teespring.com slash store slash Mike's Vehicle Spotlight for all of your MVS and vlog merchandise. And that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.